Hey YouTube, I'm gonna show you how to diagnose a bike that cranks but doesn't start. Right, so I got this wonderful 1100 Suzuki GSX-R. Uh, it's been sitting for a few years. And just like any other engine, to make it run, you need fuel, spark, and compression. So this bike was sitting for a long time. So I was like, okay, the carbs, you know, are plugged up with junk for, from sitting, bad gas, all these years. So I didn't even um, go too crazy when it first came in. So I cleaned the carbs, and then um, and then it still cranked and then it start. So I was like, okay, maybe I didn't do a good job or something, or I missed something. Okay, so after I put the the carbs together, I was like, let me check if I'm getting fuel. So if it's a fuel issue, I'm gonna give it fuel, spray in the intake, and if the bike starts, then okay, it's a fuel issue. So that didn't work. So then I went to spark. Then I check if the bike has spark and it didn't have spark. So on this bike, it was a spark issue. So then I'm like, oh my God, is the computer bad? Is the coil bad or the wires bad? You know, so it's always good to do a visual check. So I was checking out the bike and I see that this uh, ground wire right here, there you go. This ground wire had like a barrel connector like this and um, it was disconnected from one side and I pulled it out so that was loose now this happened either from working on the bike or the previous owner or just time age you know so I'll show you how to like give it fuel I'm gonna show you how to check for spark you take the spark plug and make sure it touches the engine or or the chassis somewhere metal that's ground as you can see no spark I have those connected kind of so let's see if we got spark now Okay, I don't know if you can see it well from the camera, but it has spark. That's how you check a bike that cranks but doesn't start. Because if you get a bike, it's like, oh my god, is it a carburetor? Is it the ignition coil? Is it a computer? Is it a bad compression? Is it a spark plug? So with the, if you think like spark, fuel, and compression, it, it guides you in a way to, well look, to look for. So if I did have spark and I, and I did have fuel and it still didn't start, I, I would do a compression test or I would have to check for timing because I had a, a bike that I had spark, I had fuel and it still didn't start. So I took the valve cover off and it was the, my timing was off. When I put it together, the intake and exhaust were off by one tooth so that made the bike not to start. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and one more thing. So let, let's say if um, the bike doesn't crank over, it doesn't even crank. I will check like the, the switch here on the clutch or maybe the kickstand switch is bad. So, but that's if it doesn't crank. Alright, so I hope this video was helpful and uh, I'll see you guys next time. I'm gonna be making some more Hayamusa videos.